All right, what is up? Here we go. We got another uh, episode of the patio roof. Today, we're going to be doing the concrete and walking through kind of the uh, the last bit of plumbing that I did, um, hooking up everything and connecting it into the uh, uh, the lines that run about right in this area here. So, uh, let me flip this around. All right, so that's like I've been showing you the past couple times of uh, kind of getting ready for it. We pour. In this uh, episode, we pour our concrete base here and the piers as they come along, boom, 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 all the way down. And then we pour the, the piers on that side, all three of those. And then finally, we'll go over the final running of the uh, water lines here that actually run here. And they go down this piece of PVC all the way out and then they run over here encased in PVC all the way down uh, to that, that area over there. So we're going to be showing both of those today. Guys, I really hope you've been enjoying this, um, this project, these episodes. There's a lot more to come. Uh, we got a lot going on with this thing. Obviously, we're pretty far uh, along the way we sit now. Um, but man, I, we've been loving this thing. It's been such a, an awesome thing to have around. Um, and and really be outside while it's raining in Seattle, of course, the rain has started. Um, so being able to be outside still um, and watching TV, hanging out with the family and not just stuck inside uh, all winter. So without uh, further ado, we're going to get to rolling and uh, let me know what you guys think. Thank you very much for checking it out. Till next time. Peace. All right, guys, and here we go. So check this out. We've uh, finished pouring the concrete with that concrete mixer. There we go. Flip it around uh, with that concrete mixer. Here we go. So obviously, all the forms, everything. We did uh, do a little stamp so it will uh, match this, and I got some stain um, just using form release and then some concrete uh, stain powder. You mix it together and just pour the release over the top of it once you got your pattern and you'll kind of get the same look. This obviously is still drying so we're quite a bit darker at this point and we got the uh, the Strong Tie, uh, Simpson Strong Tie, uh, I think these are CB66's that we got going here with the one inch standoff. Um, they go in, they are fully U-shaped so they do add a little bit of structural rigidity as well so this whole strap comes down uh, probably like four or five inches down connected at the bottom and then back up right here um, so nice uh, nice strengthening right there but there we go 
We got everything done. And over here, same deal. Obviously, right, so you see this string here. We use that to, to line all of these up. So that way we got them as straight as we possibly could have. All the way down. There. This one we had to pour just today. So that's why that one's even a little bit darker still. Still setting up and curing. There we go. Next step, we gotta let these dry. Typically, these should probably set up for, um, you know, probably at least, based on the depth of them, about 20 inches, probably a good three, four days. So before we even start putting posts down, uh, we're gonna let these things fully cure up. That way we're not disturbing anything. Um, but there we go. Uh, while that happens, I can, and I'm, I'm going to do uh, the last piece of the plumbing, which is connecting into the copper lines. And we'll, we'll run through that. I'll pick you through that process, see what that looks like. Basically, you're just cutting the copper and putting a, um, a slip um, a slip T that's a shark bite fitting over the, top, over the front of it, and then just connecting the, the pipes up there um, that come in right there. But there we go. Another step down. First time doing the, the stamp, looks pretty good actually. You just set that thing in and once it's set up a little bit, there we go. Boom. Awesome guys. We're gonna keep on going. We're gonna make this thing fantastic. It's gonna look phenomenal. I cannot wait. Thank y'all. Here we go. All right, so what we got here, this is a shark bite T fitting. Copper, copper, PEX is what we're doing here. Um, they have various different types of fittings. So if you wanted to go straight to, um, I don't know, shut off valve or something, you can get some that are threaded up top here. But this is what we put in here already. <clears throat> Did this so I can kind of follow along and understand what was happening. So there's two ends of this, obviously, as you can see. Uh, actually, three ends, technically. But anyway, um, you have a slip end so this end um, we'll actually be putting the pipe in through here first the slip end first pushing it as far as it can go forward here <clears throat> and then that helps us bridge this gap so this will actually push this way quite a bit <clears throat> and then we'll take it so once it's slipped in we'll take it and you get this little tool this is a uh, shark bite removal fitting or in this case it allows us to move the shark bite um, fitting here or uh, attachment back onto this side of the pipe. Um, so first things first here, I'm gonna kind of deburr these as best as we can. And I think I might need to cut that up just a little bit more. There we go. make this work it's a little bit tough because the pipes are obviously quite far in the ground so, uh, there we go. Uh, all right so as you can see we push it all the way this way now we do need to mark on this side where how far we're putting it back through. That way we know we're at the proper depth. So. And 
that snaps over. And now, wait. Try it again. <clears throat> All right, there we go. No leaking. Not looking good there. And come to the plumbing. We got water. Not get any leaking out of the, the white pipe either so everything's looking good i'm going to leave it uncovered for 24 hours to make sure and then i'll build a box around it so i can get to it easily but there we go plumbing ran all right now what we're going to do here since this is going to be buried and exposed um, there's this uh, silicon tape that shark bite has that you need to put over the fitting uh, just to protect it from any of the elements um, just not to have it exposed and this is so the box reads that it's a silicon tape you wrap it around and within a few hours it starts cementing itself and then um, shortly after that it's fully cemented quote unquote um, as a tape around and it's a uh, protection around the uh, the fitting here so it's kind of weird it's not sticky at all um, but the silicone adheres to itself essentially and uh, I just put this box down here that way we can keep any of the extra dirt off the silicone so it has the best uh, chance of adhering to itself so what we'll do I don't think I can fit this around uh, just barely but so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull a good bit of it off <laughs> There we go. We've got that protected now on both of these pipes. Keeping the elements away from the contacts and the fittings. And then the last piece I'm gonna do is create like a little box so I can easily access this. Um, this is just, this wire here is just the tracer wire that we know if they ever need to check in the future runs all the way to uh, to the pipe. You can easily trace that wire back, but there we go. We've got the protective. All right, now, first a little bit of extra insulation here. Let's do, let's, let's do the bottom one first, so we can get that. Light that up. And I'll do the same thing. This water line. There we go. 